Hey guys, remember these? I don't. In fact, I don't think they were ever sold in this country, to my knowledge. But anyway, here they are. Sunkissed Fun Fruits Dinosaurs. Assorted real fruit snacks. Personally, I prefer snacks based on imaginary fruit, like uh, snozberries and clickcumbers. But anyway, there are six pouches of these, and it's some sort of American thing, made with grape, lemon, orange, strawberry. Grape, one of those flavours you only ever see in American stuff. Pity, I really like it. I really like those um, grape sodas they do and things like that. Anyway, that's not relevant. Here's some dinosaurs. They're a bit orange, apart from the grey ones. Sun-kissed fun fruits dinosaurs are wholesome snacks made with real fruit. Mm. Bet they're just full of sugar and very little else. Oh no, corn syrup, of course. It's American, I'd forgotten. Yeah, so these are quite old, shall we say. In fact, this box dates back to 1989. Oh, hell yeah. So what are we expecting to see? Apart from the question, how fast could a Styracosaurus run? Answer up to 30 miles per hour. Not something I knew off the top of my head, that. How long was the Barachiosaurus's B? 85 feet. That's a big B. Well, yeah, the, um, they're supposed to look like the sort of blobby dinosaurs. But, as I said, 1989. So these are now 24 years old. Hmm. Well, what can we tell from the packet? Slightly yellowed. Um, yeah, which you probably could expect. Let me uh, drag this out a bit further before I open them, because frankly I'm a little scared by reading more of the dinosaur facts. Ops was considered a Cetopsian. What does Cetopsian mean? Horned face. What does Styracosaurus mean? Spiked lizard. We're going to have to open this now, aren't we? Yes. Oh dearie me. 24-year-old gummy sweets. I've got to tell you, I'm squeezing the packet. They still seem slightly soft. Right, I'm going to put this down so it doesn't go directly on the sofa. And may Cthulhu have mercy on our souls. Oh, our souls indeed. Come on, open up. Oh, uh, they've turned to poo. C cola poo. Well, so if you go back and see my old Jelly Babies video, you'll know that all the Jelly Babies turned black. These have all turned brown. They're still slightly gummy. Uh, oh dear, no, they're sort of cracking up when you try and move them. Blimey. Um, yeah, well, what dinosaurs have we got then? Uh, these ones have been fossilised, I think. Um, that was probably a T-Rex. That was a Stegosaurus of some type. Uh, that now just looks like a trilobite or something. What do they smell of? I'm certainly worried to do this. Absolutely nothing. There, there is no discernible smell emanating from these. Do you know, normally I wouldn't eat something that's so ludicrously out of date, but I am going to nibble the corner of one of these 24-year-old horrors and see what it tastes like. Hey, which flavour shall I go for? Answer, I think we're many years past that mattering. Right, I don't plan to ingest mustard. Oh god, actually, it sort of turns to, like, caramelly gunk. Oh well, I said I'll do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh god. It's got a crazy texture to it. It's got, like, scabs on the outside. It still tastes of some sort of fruit, although not any discernible fruit, just sort of generic fruit taste. Oh, look, it's got this sort of hard, crunchy outside that goes into a gooey interior. Ugh, a bit like a armadillo. Oh, well, blimey. There you are. That's what happens if you find 24-year-old sweets and then decide to taste them. I've got to say, the aftertaste isn't unpleasant at all. It's just sort of generic fruit. I, I couldn't tell you which one, but uh, it's well done for maintaining some kind of fruit quality over this amount of time. Deary me. Do you know what my sister found the other day, incidentally? I think this must have come out of a box of Kellogg's cereal round about the same time. Late 80s, very early 90s. Ladies Cardigan, number five of a series of eight exclusive designs from Kellogg's. Hand knits. Wendy Yo-Yo Cotton with Lycra. Only by DuPont. Yeah, 20 years ago, probably. So this is presumably a tie-in with these people who make this wool, and it's some sort of actual pattern for making a jumper. A very 80s-looking lady's jumper. Look at her. She's so proud of it. She's thinking, man, I hope this modelling job's end soon so I can get this itchy piece of shit off. Um, so what? Yeah, it's got the whole thing in it. Ooh, it came with bran flakes, apparently. Now we're talking. Measurements, materials. I'll tell you what, I'm going to slowly scroll this up. So if anybody wants, they can take screen captures and then actually make this jumper. Oh, hang on, can you read that properly? This is fun. I should dub some music on this.
and there we are. You can then make this jumper, and if you do want to make this jumper and send it in to me, then fuck off, I don't want it.